grocery haul. I went to Market Basket. That was it today. Picked up some more of these green works. I'm always ranting about. They have the small containers at some of the Market Baskets. I picked up another bottle of this dish soap that I usually buy. The seventh generation. Um, it's lavender mint. It's nice. Last week, or the week before, I had picked this up to try, and it just totally dried my hands out, so I went back to this stuff. Oh, goodness, guys, I'm all out of breath from carrying all the bags in. <laughs> you having some water there, Bo? I've never seen these. I don't think. Are they new? These pup corners? Skinny chippers. They only have one ingredient in them, and it's corn. Yellow corn. I wanted to give those a try. That seems pretty good. We have steak for beef stroganoff. We have a piece of uh, flat cut corn, corn beef. You even know what I'm saying. The family asked for breakfast for dinner and they wanted corned beef hash, so I got that to make the hash with. French cut green beans. Not regular green beans, French cut. I don't know why. They looked good. And I needed green beans for a salad, so I just got these ones. An avocado. Just one. Mango. Just one. I wanted more mango, but none of them were good. Some lemon. I have two boxes of this vegetable bouillon that I use. I have some fresh dill. My favorite herb. Mmm. I'm going to put this in a vegan tzatziki sauce. Oh, I just realized I didn't get what I needed. Son of a gun. I needed, uh, well, I needed sour cream too, but I don't usually buy this brand. I don't know if this is any good. Um, I needed the cream cheese, the tofu cream cheese, which, man, that, that stinks because I, I don't have any. I had some sour cream. All right. Regular sour cream for the beef stroganoff. These are new. They're by Silk. Dairy-free yogurt, you know. It's just the um, soy yogurt. This one is blueberry. It had blueberry and strawberry. So I got one of each to try them out. Black olives. We were all out. A bag of... This is um, Asiago... Romano and Parmesan cheese for my Alfredo sauce. Well, for the family's Alfredo sauce. They asked for chicken broccoli Alfredo. Wow, I'm slow today, huh? Corn. Breakfast sausage for the breakfast for dinner. Some butter. This is new. They had this one by Special K, Apple Cinnamon Crunch. I got it for my brother to try. And they also had pumpkin spice frosted mini wheats. Interesting. I bet this is really good. Bag of egg noodles for the beef stroganoff. I got a box of these quinoa shells. Just for like a mac and cheese type of thing, a vegan mac and cheese. And these have corn flour and quinoa flour in, them, in it. Two packages of kidney beans. It was all out. I like these ones in the bag now. I buy the chickpeas in the bag like this, and they're really good. Oh, you know, see this is what happens when you don't look at the back. These have some, some stuff in it that I don't want. You jerk. <laughs> I should have looked. I don't think 
the chickpeas do though. We have a box of spaghetti. This is new. Balsamic caramelized onion hummus. Mmm. They had a garlic and kale also, which I wanted to try, but went for this one. And they had um, a sriracha one. I think they had something else too, but I got this one and I figured I could dip those in it. Uh, baby white pearl onions. No, they're not, Jen. They're little button mushrooms. For goodness sakes. I needed plain soy yogurt. Just one container. One little freaking container. I couldn't find it. I went to two market baskets. So I got the coconut plain. A red onion. Mmm, I haven't bought alfalfa sprouts in so long. That's because they always look horrible. This one actually didn't look that bad. So I just got these for on top of sandwiches. Garlic. Fresh garlic. We have a box of chicken breast. This is the one I usually get. I've showed you guys this before. There's five to seven in there. It's a pretty good deal. It's ten bucks. Container of heavy cream for the Alfredo sauce. Orange juice. Oh, I'm tripping all the leaves here. From the beets. We have some golden beets. So delicious. I have two bunches of bananas. Well, a big bunch and then a little bunch right here. I got them really ripe so I could freeze some. We have a big container of red grapes. I didn't want a container this big, but it was all they had. Two pounds. Zucchini. And another zucchini. Apricots. I have this recipe in my like pile of recipes that I saw the other day that I really want to try out. It's like an apricot ball or something. I don't know. I'll share it with you guys. Cucumber. Lettuce. This is green leaf lettuce, they call it. Very pretty. Whoops, I got something. Broccoli. Two pounds of broccoli. And another cucumber. We have some olive oil. It was all out. Olive oil lasts me a long time because I use, I only use it for dressings. So I don't use it, whoa, that often. I'm dropping stuff. Strawberry jelly, I was all out. Kalamata olives, mmm. Some celery salt. Gravy. I'm gonna leave these in the bag because there's a lot of green there. But it's just three bunches of carrots. This is new at Market Basket. This is pretty neat too. They had all different kinds. They had a spinach something, I don't know. They had a bean pasta, black bean. Um, what else? Oh, I wish I could remember. A red rice, I think. There was, there was a few. This one I got is Thai brown rice noodles. So I wanted to give these a try. I picked up some almonds. I've been needing almonds for a while. And I just was looking for the ones already peeled, like. But I couldn't find them, so. You just have to soak them and they pop right out of the skin. I'm gonna give these a try. Is gluten-free ciabatta. Doesn't have dairy in it either, so that was good. They seem really nice. I don't know. Give them a try. 
bag of sweet potatoes. And I usually don't buy the bags because they're really, really small, the potatoes, you know? But that's what I got today. We have a full chicken. Family asked for chicken dinner. And I love that Purdue one here. Couple more. Let's see. This is neat. So I have this recipe for nan bread. I love nan bread. And it's gluten-free, dairy-free. It's free of freaking everything. And in the recipe, you use rice flour and potato starch. So I picked those two things up separately, which, you know, gets pricey. And then I saw this. Oh, yeah, you need this exanum whatever gum in the recipe, too. This has all that in it already. This one bag. So, ah, look at that, see? No kidding. So I thought I would just pick up a bag of that. We'll see how it goes. We were out of regular flour. We got some of that. I think that's usually the one I get. Some Texas toast for French toast. Look how thick these are, my goodness. What the family asked for. We have a half a dozen eggs. And what else? Potatoes. Almond milk. They finally had it. They're always out of the unsweetened original. And regular milk. Is that it? That is it. That's going to do it, guys. That is the grocery haul for this week. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys. So, 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 so good. <laughs>